Good. You said your staff and Congressman Henry Sorry, are going to be here all night working on this. If you guys are really as far apart as you say you are with the White House, where nothing is agreed to, what's the point of staff level talks at this point if you and the president are that far apart? Look, I don't think we would agree to talks if we thought it wasn't productive and that we couldn't come to an agreement. I actually believe at the end of the day we can come to an agreement. So that's why we're together. Why, why it was productive today and not, not giving um, progress, we only talked about where our differences were. We talked about items that, um, ideas to find that. So we're asking the staff to get back and run through those ideas to see if we could come to an agreement. Mr. Yes, ma'am. Well, I would assume I'd meet with President Biden every day till we get this done. This is too important. Do you expect to meet with him tomorrow? Look, if we don't meet, I'm sure we're going to talk on the phone. But we're going to have the staff get together, and then we're going to get back. It was not set that we had to see one another, or at least we're going to talk, but nothing set there. Yes, ma'am. Okay, listen. In the Senate, a clean debt ceiling couldn't pass. In the House, it can't pass. So why should we waste time on something that's not going to pass instead of finding something that is a solution to the problem? We are too close to give up. I think America's too great to think on small ideas like that. I want to solve the problem, okay? Greetings, friends. I have major news to share with you this Tuesday. There's just a little bit of time left for you to take action and claim another relief payment. Our federal government and congressional lawmakers are encouraging all Americans to check if they meet the eligibility requirements to receive this money. Many retirees and seniors can also qualify for a $1,000 refund check. My dearest friends, please do me a big favor and watch until the end of this video. Also, this coming Friday, I will be announcing more winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. My dearest friends, if you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dear friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Are you still waiting to hear something from the Internal Revenue Service about the status of your tax return? Well, friends, you are not alone. Millions of Americans are still anxiously waiting for their tax refund check. About 75% of U.S. adults who expect to receive a tax refund this year believe the money is important to their overall financial situation. Reliance on tax refunds revealed contrasts across age and income levels. Paying down debt and boosting savings are Americans' top priorities with their tax refund money this year. This year, 28% of Americans intend to pay down debt and another 26% of Americans plan to use a return for savings. The tax agency recently just released new information about filing and processing. According to the Internal Revenue Service, all paper and electronic individual returns received before January 2023 have been processed. Additionally, the tax agency claims it is opening mail within normal time frames. The agency says that all returns received for the tax year 2021 or earlier have been processed as long as those returns had no errors or did not require further review. As of May 13, 2023, the IRS had 4.2 million unprocessed individual returns. That number includes tax year 2022 returns, 2021 returns that need review or correction, and late filed prior year returns. Of the unprocessed individual returns, 2 million returns require error correction or other special handling and another 2.2 million are paper returns waiting to be reviewed and processed. According to Forbes, these returns require special handling by an IRS employee. So in these instances, it will take the IRS more than 21 days to issue any related refund. When it comes to individual tax returns received in the current year, the IRS will process those 
for which refunds are due first. The IRS issues most refunds in less than 21 calendar days. If you filed your return on paper and expect a refund, it may take four weeks or more to process your return. You wouldn't think that anyone would forget to collect a tax refund, but it does happen. Typically, taxpayers have three years to file and claim your tax returns. However, because the 2020 tax season coincided with the beginning of the crisis, the filing deadline for 2019 earnings has been extended until July 17, 2023. Anyone with unclaimed tax refund money from their 2019 earnings stands to lose this cash if they don't file their tax return by this fast approaching date. Money Geek analyzed 2019 unclaimed tax refund data from the IRS and estimated the average amount of unclaimed tax cash per affected resident in every state. There is still $1.5 billion in total unclaimed tax refunds for 2019 earnings. That's an average of $1,006 per eligible individual. Six of the 10 states with the biggest average unclaimed tax refunds are in the Northeast, leaving an average of $1,065 unclaimed for 2019. Residents of Alaska have the most unclaimed tax cash for 2019, valued at around $1,090 per affected resident. Idaho residents have the smallest amount of unclaimed money at $921. So friends, if you earned money in 2019 and did not file your taxes in 2020, there may be some cash owed to you that you could lose out on if you don't try to collect it very soon. If you have unclaimed taxes to collect, you could be in for a pleasant windfall with the average unclaimed tax refund totaling $1,006. In addition to a potential refund, many low and moderate income workers may also be eligible for the earned income tax credit, which is worth as much as $6,557 in 2019. The process for filing older tax returns is the same as filing for the current tax year. To file your 2019 taxes, you will need several documents, including any W-2s and 1099 forms for income that was earned that year. Top lawmakers are urging that all eligible Americans take advantage of this bonus relief. So dear friends, if you meet the eligibility requirements, be sure to take action before the July 17th deadline. Well, my magnificent and most amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Tuesday. My dearest friends, thank you so very, very much for being here and for being part of this community. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, I'm announcing several winners this coming Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. Dear friends, if you'd like to enter the weekly giveaway, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dear friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed week.